Hello, my name's Matt Abbott. I'm a poet and author of the book, A Hurricane in My Head, Poems for When Your Phone Dies. Now I realise that phone's dying. That's not really a problem that we're having at the moment, but it's something we can all relate to. And I'm going to do a little short session for you today on writing a limerick, because today is World Limerick Day. Now limericks are a very, very famous uh, and very, very short form of poetry. Even if you've not heard of it, you'll definitely recognise it. It's something that's recognisable all around the world. It's thought to have originated in the early 18th century uh, and was popularised by a poet called Edward Lear in the 19th century. And it's something that, like I say, is instantly recognisable today. And it's very, very short and it's very, very simple. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to read you a couple of limericks, which I've included in my book, A Hurricane in My Head. Right? And then I'm going to explain to you the basic rules and structure of how to write a limerick give you a couple of pointers and tips, and then give you a couple of ideas so that you can write your own. Okay, so I'll read you a couple of these. There was once a teacher from Brighton who was very difficult to frighten until one day in town they bumped into a clown and in seconds their cheeks they had whitened. There was once a teacher from Chester whose pupils had never impressed her until the last day of term she smiled with a squirm when Jacob came dressed as a jester. So you do recognise it, don't you? You know what I'm talking about. There was once a teacher from Stoke who knew the world's funniest joke. His lessons were dour for nearly an hour and then you'd laugh so much you could choke. And then my last one, which is the favourite in the book. There was once a teacher from Fife who tried to eat soup with a knife. He coughed and wheezed and spluttered and sneezed and the soup went all over his wife. So I've written that one out here. And you can see the rhyme scheme is A, A, B, B, A. That means that lines one, two, and five rhyme with each other, and rhymes three, uh, lines three and four rhyme with each other. So as you can see, the rhyming words are fife, knife, wheezed, sneezed, wife, right? So it's a very, very simple rhyme scheme. A, A, B, B, A. And generally, they all follow the same rhythm as well. So da 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 so lines three and four are often a lot shorter than the other lines, right? Now, the most important thing is to have your rhyme words in place first, okay? Because if the first two lines are amazing, and then the third and fourth lines are amazing, and then you get to the fifth line and you can't think of a rhyme, you've lost it, okay? So it's really, really important to make sure you've got those killer rhymes first. Whenever you're writing any form of poetry or any form of writing, it's really important to get your ideas first. It's almost like gathering the ingredients for a cake, okay? You get the ingredients out on the side before you start baking, and it's the same with writing a poem. So make sure you get those rhyming words out first first, right? And generally, the best limericks, the last line is what makes it funny. The last line is like your punchline, okay? So if the last line is quite surprising, or it breaks a rule, or it reveals something, usually that's what that's the line that's, that's funny, okay? So when you're writing a limerick, generally, as I said, they're quite silly, right? You're not reporting something that's factual, you're not doing something that's dead serious, right? Have a bit of fun with it, okay? Make sure you try and break the rules, like, obviously the teacher wouldn't try and eat soup with a knife, it's just silly, but what would happen if he did, right? And you can do all kinds of things with this. Another example of a limerick that I've written, um, there was once an alien from Mars who drove all the fanciest cars, it had a Skoda, bright pink, faster than a blink and its headlamps were made out of stars, right? So it's not real, but you're just having a bit of fun with it, right? So maybe you could write one about somebody in your family or maybe your pet or maybe a friend. It's always fun to involve a person. Now, obviously, we're not poking fun. We're just playing about and trying to do something silly or funny. Do it as a little funny tribute or maybe you could combine things that are really random. So think of your favourite food. Think of your favourite... Uh, celebrity, think of your favourite place, and just make it as silly and as ridiculous as possible. Now, you can do a couple of these, right, because it's so short, so maybe try and do, maybe try and do three in ten minutes, right? I reckon you can do three in ten minutes. Try not to think about it too much, because it's so simple. If you overthink it, it might not be as funny. Try to be instinctive, and just remember, the rhyme scheme is A, A, B, B, A. That's it. It's really, really simple, right? And if you want to send any examples to my Matt Abbott poet, poetry page, you're more than welcome to. If you buy a copy of A Hurricane in My Head on my website, it's signed and you get a free postcard. Um, the most important thing with limericks, make sure you've got your rhyming words first and make sure you have a bit of fun with it. Sometimes poetry serious, limericks, they're not serious. So have a go at writing one on World Limerick Day and I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you very much.